Hello again, everybody. Happy New Year to everyone. And today we're going to explore a symptom, customer complaint, the car doesn't start. We have here a, a little complicated schematic over here. And you'll see why I, I refer to it as being complicated. And first we have to analyze. We all know starters and batteries, ignition uh, uh, um, switches and all that have a role in it. But, f but there's a little more to this in this situation. Customer complaint comes in, car doesn't start at all. Of course, you say, well, maybe it's the battery. Well, you check out the battery and you have to check out some more details. So let's see how it works first. First of all, we always start with the battery. Like I said one time, and I marked it over here. We know the normal automotive battery has 12 volts, 12.6 volts. If you look at the diagram over here, there are bars. One long bar, one small bar. And there are six of them. Each one represents 2.1 volts. There are six cells. So therefore, in the normal automotive battery, there are six cells of each being 2.1 volts thus giving you 12.6 volts. So each big bar and small bar is 2.1 volts. There are six of them, as is demonstrated in our symbol here. Therefore, we have 12.6 volts. So the other thing is, the other one goes to ground. Where's ground? Usually it's the engine block. And sometimes when you have problems with the battery, you think it's not starting. Not only can it be corrosion and things like that, sometimes it can actually be that the negative terminal is not making contact. And therefore, you have to tighten the negative terminal on the battery. Remember, it goes to the engine block, which is goes to the body. So therefore, it's usually like an 8 millimeter, and you have to tighten it, and sometimes it gets loose. Remember, there's vibration and other uh, uh, parameters when it comes to automotive. Let's look at the circuit. We just explained the battery. Now, let's explore it. We're going to go over here. First, we have a relay over here called theft deterrent relay. We have the switch over here, right? Park neutral position switch, which is dotted over here. We have the ignition switch. And we have a maxi fuse. As I explained in my videos before, there are maxi fuses, there are mini fuses. Let's follow the green one first. We're coming from the battery, from the positive. The green one over here, which is the black wire. We're going to go through the fuse, the maxi fuse, which is rated at 40 amps. Where is it found? Under the hood center. And I made videos about that, that there's two places where there are, vi there are uh, fuses. One's by the dash, the dashboard. And the other one is actually by the hood. This is under the hood. Remember, all main ones are usually under the hood. Goes through the current. We're following current now. The red wire. And it goes through the ignition switch. If you notice, the only connection that you have is in the start position the green wire right here which is actually yellow but i highlighted it green any other one will not give you any current to flow it'll be open circuit so therefore this contact the switch must be in this position in the start position okay so therefore now this one over here current will flow here follow the green line Follow the green line. Now we come to this. Now there's a problem. This, in order to, to get current to flow through the starter solenoid, it looks like we have a relay over here. And this switch will be in this position. That means current cannot flow through the starter solenoid, which we need to activate the motor. What do we need? Let's look at this. This is a relay. So from the principle of how a relay works, you need current to flow in the coil. 
to magnetize it. Once it gets magnetized, the, the armature contacts will be pulled this way. When, it's, when it gets pulled this way, you see this ganged dotted line? That means it'll be pulled in. When, the, when this gets a magnetic field from current flowing through it, this will be pulled in, as you see by the green that I indicated over here. When that happens, then current can flow through the starter solenoid. Let's see what will make that happen. As we said, we have to be in the start position. Now we're going to follow the pink highlighted. <clears throat> fuse block. Again, yellow wire, fuse, right here. 5 amps, a little smaller ampage, as, as you can tell. Right? This was 40 amps. This is 5 amps in the fuse block. Now we go here. Now, which position do we have to be in for the current to flow for this relay? We can only be, again, in the park position. Any other position, if you notice, there are no connections. Therefore, it's an open circuit. Therefore, and when it's in park, or neutral, in this case, that's why it's called park neutral position switch. You could be in the park, you could be in the neutral. You see, either one has, either one has a connection. But not drive, not second, not first, and not reverse. So when we come over here, neutral, or this, we'll connect this. And then the current will flow through this theft deterrent relay. And then it goes through a module. Now, the principles of usually of modules are to give a ground to the relay. And this is why I drew a ground over here, to complete the path. Because otherwise, if this is open or this is not activated current cannot flow we need a complete path so therefore this could be a transistor inside uh, acting as a ground anything we don't know from the schematic diagram of it but we know the principle a relay has to be grounded to complete the path that's why i drew a ground therefore this will be at zero volts therefore once the first we need this to happen the theft deterrent relay to be activated, then we can get current to flow through the starter solenoid. This is number one, has to happen. This is number two. Once this is activated, again, a solenoid like a relay, then current can flow, the orange one, can flow. This will be activated. This will be pulled in. Now the starter motor has 12 volts. A little complicated because we have this relay working in order to make this starter solenoid work. Welcome to the world of theft deterrent relay. That's why you have to activate this through the module. Now, I'm going to continue the video of the customer complaint. Customer co says... Nothing is working. Started, the lights are working, and I see the instrument panel working, but I don't see, I, I don't hear the car starting. Why? Follow my next video. And please subscribe to my channel. I got uh, more views. I want to thank my viewers for that. I want to thank the subscribers, and everything is, is appreciated. Thank you.